guys, Diesel here from 93.3 The Planet for the first ever Diesel Does Reviews. Every night on the show, I do a feature called Smash or Trash. I play you a brand new song you've never heard on our station before, and uh, you tell me if you like it or if you don't. And on this channel, we're actually reviewing the number one song every single week. So the P1s have already decided that they like that song. By the way, what's a P1? A P1 is a priority number one. And just by watching this, you're already a P1 for 93.3 The Planet. You didn't know you were getting recruited into an army, but you did, so you're here and you get in the army, so snap too. Today we're gonna check out a band called Boston Manor. They got a tune called Liquid, and this song features John Floriani, I, I, I think. I'm not sure, but John is, is, shout out to John. John is in the video, John is in the song, so uh, don't want don't want people to think that we're not throwing any love to John. So we're gonna check out this video. I've already heard it, so this is basically a review for me. And starting next week, we're gonna have Hannah in our videos. Ooh, who's Hannah? Well, you gotta, uh, you gotta come back next week to find out who Hannah is. She's gonna be doing some reactions because she is not a part of my radio show. She's never heard these songs before. So I'm reviewing, she's reacting. Let's get into it. Tonight's song comes from Boston Manor. It's called Liquid, featuring John Fleur... Yeah, let's just play it. So already I can tell that this is going to be kind of an effects-driven song. You hear that vocal effect. I, I don't know. Is that a little overdone nowadays? You, you tell me. You drop into the comment section. Is the effects on rock and roll too much now? Uh, but I feel like the song is just about to get good, so let's back that up just a couple of seconds. Where we got to throw extra love to John Floriani because he's doing some killer uh, harmonies right there in that song. Uh, not a lot of effects on the vocals at this part, and I'm kind of into that. I love harmonies in rock songs. Uh, I'm digging this song so far. By the way, the P1s who listened to this song on the show last week really liked this song. Like 89% of them voted this song a smash hit, so you should already know that it's good. So far, you know, it's it's a good song. It's kind of run of the mill, really, for rock music. Uh, they're not really delivering anything super brand new with this tune. I feel like I might have heard this song already about 10 times, but hey, you know, maybe it'll get better deeper into the song. All right, let's get into more. You know, my favorite part of this song so far is that drop off right before they get into the chorus. Uh, it, it sort of fades, it fades, it has that little bit of echo, and then you expect it to just punch, but then it pauses for just a second. And I love that. I love when bands just drop it and give you silence for a couple of seconds because then it can really, you know, just knock you right in the ear. I'm digging that part of this song a lot. Okay, kind of dropping off a little bit, giving us a different vibe in this song. It went from punchy, kind of rocky, to super ambient, kind of chill. I don't know if you could hear that, but they definitely brought in uh, a little bit of produced hip hop beats there to the end, just really light on there. Added a fun little element. It was only for a couple of seconds. I wish they would feature that more throughout the entire song because I really like that. You know, I really like songs that blend a whole lot of elements. If you remember a band called, ooh, back in the 90s, they were called Stuck Mojo. Those guys were the first ones to blend metal and hip hop. They really just kind of slammed it all together. It was new back then and it's been so done ever since then. But uh, some bands can really pull it off if they're really uh, kind of creative with how they do it. I wish they would have brought back the chorus that we heard, so the, the, not the chorus, but the harmonies that we heard at the beginning of this video, um, because again, not a whole lot of bands do that nowadays. But otherwise, you know, the song is solid, I guess. 89% of the voters said that this song was good, so it must be pretty good. We'll finish it out. We got about mm, 45 seconds left in this song. We're gonna finish this out. Yeah. 
like this part right here where they have the two uh, parts of the two different ways of doing the chorus kind of mixed together. Uh, it kind of reminds me of, uh, you remember that song, Row, Row, Row Your Boat, and you would sing it as a round? You get kind of halfway through it, the next guy starts. <laughs> I really like that part of this song, and you don't hear that very much in music anymore. All right, that's that's Boston Manor Liquid featuring John Floor, Floor, Floor something. It's Floor, it's John, it's John Floor, okay? Shout out to you, John Floor. Have an easier name to pronounce. But, you know, that song was, it song was good. It, it wasn't, it didn't grab me. It wasn't like, yeah, that song is awesome. You know, it's a, it's a good song. But I think that's kind of the way rock and roll is going on the radio nowadays. It's, uh, you know, it's verse, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, song over. Uh, there is a, a kind of a, a, a rote structure in rock and roll nowadays. And that song very much follows that structure. And it does it sort of well. But uh, that was it. That was... Liquid from Boston Manor. That one beat out a new tune from Bad Flower called The Jester. 53% of the voters on uh, on July 1st gave that one a thumbs up. And it also beat out Black River by the band The Tea Party on July 3rd, which 57% said that song was a smash hit. We're reviewing songs that the P1s for 93.3 The Planet in Greenville, South Carolina, already tell us are good. We are picking the number one song each week on this channel. And I'm a DJ, so I know what I'm talking about I guess so uh, hope you like the video uh, we're gonna be back next week with another with another number one song of the week until then crank it up